Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of MC Squared, the Monday Coffee Conversation. Today we're coming to you from the Clinch River in St. Paul, Virginia. And we're going to start a series today. Today will be part one of a series we're getting ready to start on being fishers of men. So grab your cup, kick back, join us as we get into the Word. When Jesus met some of his disciples, they were fishermen. That was their trade, that was their livelihood. And that's what they were doing when, when Jesus met them. And he told them, he said, if you'll come with me, I'll make you fishers of men. Now, of course, the main thing that meant was we're going to go win souls. We're going to go spread the gospel. We're going to spread the message of God and bring people to him. We're going to catch them uh, as a fisher fisherman would. But if we go deeper into that, there's a lot of other things we can get from it that will help us become better fishers of men. If we look at fishing from a physical standpoint, a fisher of fish, if you will, we've got all kinds of options when it comes to bait. You know, we, we around here growing up, all I ever knew of was night crawlers. You go out after a, a good hard rain one night and you catch a bunch of night crawlers, put them in a coffee can and take them fishing. But to, you know, today we've got all kinds of different options. We've got uh, the tubes, we've got buzz baits, we've got all these different artificial lures that pertain to not only the type of water we're fishing, but for the type of fish that we're going after. And we're going to talk just a little bit about how we can relate that to being a fisher of men. As we mentioned, we've got different lures compared to what kind of, you know, made for what kind of fish we're going after. But not only do they look different and act different and mimic different things, different types of feed for the fish, but we use them differently. With a night crawler, you throw it out and you just sit. That's pretty much all you do when you're fishing with a night crawler. If you're using a tube, you throw it out and you work the bottom of the river or wherever you're fishing and it mimics a crawdad but you're just working it kind of really slow and methodically to try and attract the attention of a, of a hungry fish nearby. Now with things like buzz baits, yes they they will react and look like a, a food source like a frog or something going across the top of the water but a lot of your top waters you're moving them real fast and they're made to to just uh, gather a reaction strike from the fish it, it doesn't really know what it is but it's kind of like me at a at a picnic it says i don't know what that is but i'm going to eat it so you know uh, we use the, the the slow moving we use the the violent more uh, reaction type faster uh lures if you will turn with me to the book of jude there's only one chapter in jude and we're going to go down towards the end of the chapter and look at a couple of verses there and it says to us, it says, To keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And if some have compassion, making a difference, and others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. Now to me, the way I've always understood that and the way the Lord has shown it to me, that's in our witness. You know, with some... You, you use compassion and, and show the love of Jesus in a, a softer tone. And with others, that's the hellfire and brimstone message. You know, it's almost like a, a scary out of hell type of thing. It says even hating the garment that is spoiled by the flesh. But it's to pull them out of the fire, to save them from hell in, in a very direct, not beat around the bush way. And you know, Jesus used a lot of different methods methods to spread the love of God. Paul, Peter, all of them, they use different ways. Sometimes they were just talking about the love of God and others it was downright listen, this is what God says, this is what you better do, this is what's going to happen. Now when we look at our ways of fishing we look at these different lures and we, we look to the fish, we look to the water we look to the temperature, we look to how sunny it is to determine how we're going to work a certain kind of lure. Whether we're going to work it real fast and get their attention just from a strike reaction, or whether we're going to take it slow and, and you know try to entice them and, and tempt them into coming and taking a bite. But now when we go to our witness, we don't have a certain criteria to look at or a website to pull up and say, well, how do I talk to this person? Do I 
just lay the fire and brimstone on them or do I show them the love? We have to listen to the Holy Spirit. We have to listen to the Holy Spirit and He will lead us on how to approach each and every person and each person is different. And not only that, but the way you deal with someone today, God may lead you to deal with them differently tomorrow. Some people you may, God may lead you to point you just bluntly straight to their face. Listen, God loves you, but you need to straighten up. You need to accept Him into your life. You need to come and give your heart to Him so you don't spend eternity in hell. Another day, He may have you to drop something off at their house and just put a little note saying God loves you. Or He may have you to just send them a text saying you're on my heart. God will direct us through the Holy Spirit on how to use our witness. So let me ask you today, what kind of bait are you using? And how did you decide to do that? When it comes to going fishing, man, there's so many resources. Half of them's just junk and half of them's real. The thing is, we don't know how the fish going to react no matter what. We can look at tendencies, but we don't know how the fish for sure is going to react. And we don't know how the people are going to react, whichever way we talk to them about Jesus. But we do know that if we look to the Holy Spirit, He'll lead us. He'll lead us and guide us and direct us in how to have that conversation with each and every person that he puts on our heart to have that conversation with. We thank you for joining us this morning. It's going to be a, a wet week, they say. So um, I hope everyone enjoys it. I hope you enjoyed this message. And I hope you catch us next week for part two of Fishers of Men on Monday Coffee Conversations.